Welcome back. The Japanese government is encouraging more companies and universities to develop robots to care for the elderly population. It wants them to focus on catering to the country's more urgent needs rather than developing futuristic robots. And it's given out 25.3 million US dollars in subsidies to encourage them. Japan is home to the world's fastest aging population. 24%, or 30 million people, are over the age of 65. Now, there was a shocking report in early June that a health ministry study group has found out that 15% of those above the age of 65 have dementia, or 4.6 million people. So it's crucial to keep an eye on those people in such sensors like that over there may play an important role as the caretakers can check from a distance using a tablet like this. The system is developed by a manufacturer of security-related products. It's one of 24 companies which won a government subsidy to develop robots to care for the elderly. This is another. The rubber manufacturer introduced rubber sensors embedded into bed sheets to detect movement and respiratory abnormality. New technology is urgently needed to deal with a big problem in the elder care industry, the physical burden of carrying the elderly in and out of bed. The government hopes to grow the elder care industry to 54.3 billion yen or 571 million US dollars by 2020 and 2.8 billion dollars by 2030. The sector is looking increasingly attractive for Japan's top toilet maker. It sought subsidy to produce a toilet that can be placed by the bed for those who cannot make it to the bathroom. And it's not your conventional portable loo. The existing model weighs 70 kilos, but with the government subsidy, the company aims to have the weight. And if promising new technologies continue to develop, Japan may consider selling them to other countries with an aging population. Michio Ishida, Channel News Asia, Tokyo.